Many thanks for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for joining us. You know where you're calling from. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Michael Booth. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, Papa. Good evening. I've been blessed by your people throughout this school book. Praise God. Praise God. Um, reading through the book of Mark, Mr. Patel, when the Pharisees were asking about divorce, verse 11, Jesus answered them, anyone who divorces his wife and marries another woman commits adultery against her. And then, verse 12, vice versa. I want to ask, what is Bible doctrine? Or teaching on uh, the marriage, and who who divorce out of whatever reason, they marry. What is Bible doctrine on it? And then in Luke, the way I was reading, when Jesus was when Jesus got in um, the uh, valley of the Nazarene, when he met the demon possessed man who was possessed and was living in the tomb, that was said he wanted to cast out the demon, and then. What, I wanted to know what happened. Was there really a bad thing? Jesus was not asking demons. How many were they? What really happened there? What really happened there? Was there please Jesus talking to demons? What happened? Thank you, sir. What's your name? Where are you calling from, ma'am? Uh, okay, I'm Evangel. I'm coming from Abu Dhabi. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, bless you and, and thank you for asking. All right, the first question is um, um, divorce. Divorce. Yes, divorce. divorce. Now you must remember. That when Jesus said the things he said in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he was under the law. Galatians chapter 4 verse 4. When the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made by a woman, made under the law. So he was under the law, and because he was under the law, he said things that were within the confines of the law, and a few radical things that introduced the reality of the New Testament. But when he talked about divorce, he stayed within the confines of their law, and said to them, if you divorce your wife, except for adultery, if you marry another, you've committed adultery. And he was saying that under the law. But after Jesus rose from the dead, brother Paul began to talk about marriage, remarriage, and divorce. And he says, if the unbelieving decides to go, let him go. And when he goes, the husband or the wife is not in bondage. Which means, if there's a separation by reason of either threat to life, of course, that must be the reason why there will be a separation in marriage threat to life or persecution we always say it is persecution when a husband is beating his wife or when the wife is beating the husband and molesting you and making life unbearable that is persecution even for the preaching of the gospel jesus said if you are persecuted run away from the place how much less in marriage so if you are being persecuted in marriage take your bag and go to a place where you will still be alive tomorrow to either correct the marriage or if the marriage never gets corrected again, where you can remarry and continue to fulfill the plan of God. So yes, there are situations for divorce. There are situations for remarriage in the New Testament. However, it has to be approached with proper counseling from the word of God. I will recommend for you my book, Understanding Marriage, Relationships, and, uh, and, uh, and Family Life. It deals with divorce and all that, and all that is exegetically taken care of. If you order for that book today, spend time, read that book. It will clarify all that I have said to you with Bible scriptures well explained.